when you discard the narcissist, watch out for this. When you discard the narcissist, you need to be very careful. Because the narcissist will try to sabotage you. They will deliberately try to destroy something of value that you have. Because they hate it when you discard them before they get the chance to discard you. Which is why when you do discard them first, they will become very obsessive. They will stalk your social media because they want to see what you're doing. They're very envious and jealous because they saw you as their possession. They saw you as something that was under their control, which is why when you choose to distance yourself from them, they will have a strong desire for revenge. And some of you may already be aware of this. So you may try to end the relationship amicably. You may try to end it in a calm and peaceful way. But when you do that, you're just giving them ammo. You're giving them the opportunity to disrupt everything you're planning to do. Because they're not going to let you leave unless it's under their conditions. They have to be in a position of power and control. But if it's not because they no longer wanted to deal with you, or if it's not because they wanted to be alone, they will seek revenge. If you manage to get away, they will stalk you. They will try to cause disruption. Because in their minds you're not meant to leave them. You're not meant to think for yourself. You're not meant to make your own decisions. So when you try to leave, they will put on a show. They will love bomb you again. They will try to pull you back into the relationship. They will tell you they've realized what they did wrong, but they're just saying it so that you will take them back in. And then that gives them an opportunity to get revenge. Because when you try to leave them, it caused a narcissistic injury. It made them very angry. Because it made them feel as though they're not worth anything. As though they no longer had any use to you. As though there's someone better than them. In their minds, you made them feel that way. So now you must suffer the consequences of your actions. They will lie to you. They will act as though you are so important to them. As though they're sorry for what they've done. Because now they understand how it affected you. They will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. And they can be very convincing. They will do anything to get you to believe that they're telling the truth. But they're only doing that so that they can come back to destroy you. If they manage to get back in with you, they're only going to make your life hell. They're only going to make you miserable. Because then they will expect you to suffer the consequences of your actions. Every time you break up with a narcissist, 
It will only get worse and worse. It will not get better. Because when you show them you don't want to be with them, they realise that at some point you're going to leave, which completely destroys their fantasies of you. You're no longer this perfect person to them. So you will begin to see them acted out more and more. You could have an argument with them about something insignificant and then they will go and fool around with someone else. You won't know about it. But it makes them feel better when they're doing it behind your back. Something that you wouldn't be able to deal with. Which is why you will notice that the next time you have an argument about something, they will find it amusing. They will see it as a joke. Because they just engaged in sexual activity with someone else. They already got one over on you. you may not know anything about it. You just see that the narcissist is laughing or it seems like they don't care. Because without your knowledge, they've already done something that you wouldn't stand. They've already made you a fool. But even if you catch them, they're just going to deny it. Or they will deflect it. You will always end up feeling confused. Or as though you don't know what the truth is. Because you're accepting standards. That are lower than what should be desirable. But they don't really believe that you can find someone better than them. Which is why they may even give you the opportunity to try. But they will be watching your every move. They will want to see how you're doing. So that they can plot a scheme to disrupt it. Because they're not thinking about how good you were to them. They're not thinking about how they can make things right. They're just thinking about ways to ruin your life after you've left them. Because they're very angry. They want revenge. They want to see you fall. Which is why you should hope that the narcissist will just move on and be willing to accept someone else. That's what you should want. Because then their attention will be off of you. You won't have to deal with them anymore. Some of you may still be seeking validation from the narcissist. And while I can understand that, you need to realize that you are expecting someone who is messed up to recognize what kind of person you are. You're expecting it from someone who isn't right in the head. Someone who doesn't know anything about relationships. Someone who doesn't know anything about life. So you're not going to get the answers you're looking for from that type of person. It's just not going to happen. You can get it from someone else. 
but you're never going to get that from the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.